the newscast. Meanwhile, a convicted felon who previously escaped from the Pima County Jail escaped again. Only this time, Noah Pisano was being transported to jail on murder charges when he ran from Tucson police. The Digging Deeper team uncovered documents, including a murder indictment involving a recent homicide. News for Tucson's Upita Murillo with Pisano's background. Noah Pisano is currently here in administrative segregation. He was booked into the Pima County Jail on September 17th. That's the day this court document says that he faked a medical emergency and then slipped out of his handcuffs. He had attempted to escape from the Tucson Police Department and he was apprehended uh, pretty quickly. Pisano ran 10 to 15 yards before he was caught by the officer. Now that you know what Pisano is capable of doing, how are you treating him differently? Obviously, he's a threat to the safety and security of the facility. Um, he's an escape risk. Um, therefore, he's housed in more secure um, facilities within the Pima County Jail. Captain Stewart says the 26-year-old Pisano is also known to have gang ties. He's now inside a jail within a jail. Captain Stewart uses the analogy of separating the sharks from the guppies. He is separated from the other inmates, and when he moves around, he is always in handcuffs and shackles. He remains inside his cell most of the day and is let out one hour a day. We, we classify them based on their criminal sophistication. And what's the best indicator how somebody's going to behave in custody? how they behave in custody. Pisano is behind bars, this time because Tucson police say he's charged with felony murder. That means if someone dies while committing a crime, the person or persons who were involved in the crime can be charged with murder, even though they didn't pull the trigger. This crime scene video is from August 28th, when Tucson police say Marco Ormsby was shot and killed. Ormsby and another suspect pulled a gun on a man and tried to rob him. There was a fight. The victim was shot. A family member of the victims came out of the apartments with a gun, began firing at the two suspects. Police say Ormsby and the victim were both shot by the relative. Ormsby later died. The victim was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Two years ago, Pisano also escaped from the Pima County Jail. This is video of the search for Pisano, who was wearing street clothes. He pushed a call button. Somebody in the control room opened um, that door. He pushed another call button. The person in the control room erroneously opened that door, and he was able to um, take off running down the street out in front of the jail. Pisano was also caught shortly after his escape. Bond for Pisano is set at half a million dollars, and this is where he'll be until he goes to trial. Digging deeper, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.